You remember we talked about nouns. We said that there were five noun cases, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative. It turns out there are a couple of others. They just, they're just not used that much, and that's why we don't include them in the big five. But there is one that I want to talk about today, and it's called the vocative case. If you look at that word vocative, you may notice that it looks like a verb that we've had before. Kind of looks like woco wocare, which is the verb that means to call. Well, the vocative case is used for direct address. When you are calling someone out, there's that woco wocare part, when you're calling someone out by their name or their title. Julius, come here a minute. I need to talk with you. Hey, friend, watch out. That chariot's about to run you down. When you call somebody out by name or title, like Julius or friend, you put that word in the vocative case. Now, this is really easy. For vocative case, first declension, so the words with ah, I, I, um, ah, I, R, um, is, as, is, those words, first declension vocative is the same as the nominative. There's no difference. I don't need to teach you anything new because you already know it. First declension vocative is the same as the nominative. So if I wanted to say, girl, carry the water, it would just be puella. Second declension gets a little bit different. In second declension, we got to pay attention to singular and plural. We've got to pay attention to whether it's an U.S. noun or an I.U.S. noun. All right, now think about this. Words like, and we'll just use as an example, amicus, right? Or words like philius, the Latin word for son. If it's a U.S. noun and you want to talk to one person, you change the U.S. to an E. If you're addressing more than one, you change the U.S. to an I. If it's an I-U.S. noun, you change the I-U.S. to an I for vocative singular and you change it to an I-I for vocative plural, okay? So for example, we might have something like this. Um, I might be talking to some people and I'd say, Thelii, Thelii, comma, uh, aquam porta et amice, comma, in agro labora. Okay, so here I've got a vocative plural, that I, I, and here I've got a vocative singular with that E. So what are we really saying here? Well, we're saying sons carry the water. Right, so maybe I've got multiple sons working on my farm, and I'm telling all of them, hey, I need all you guys to carry the water. And friend, I've got one friend who came over to help me. Friend, work in the field. So when you're directly addressing somebody, you use the vocative case.